Thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, very much. Um, the problem is clear. Big tech preys on children and teens to make more money. Uh, now is the time for the legislative solutions to these problems. And that starts with privacy. Uh, I've introduced bipartisan legislation to give children and teens a privacy bill of rights for the 21st century. Today, a 13-year-old girl uh, on these apps has no privacy rights. She has no ability to say no. No, you can't gobble up data about me. No, you can't use that data to power algorithms that push toxic content towards me. No, you can't profile me uh, to manipulate me and keep me glued to your apps. No, you have no rights. 13-year-old girl in the United States of America in the year 2021. My Bipartisan Children and Teens Online Privacy Protection Act gives 13, 14, and 15-year-olds that right to say no. To each witness, do you support my legislation to update the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act to give that 13, 14, and 15-year-old control of their data? Ms. Stout. Senator Markey, um, I just want to say that we absolutely support a federal privacy proposal, and we've worked very hard with members of this body to try do you to. Do you support my child protection, my teen protection law? Do you I support think, it? So, Senator, we agree that there should be additional protections put against young people to protect them further from. Right. You, so you've had a chance to look at the child online privacy protection update that I've introduced. It's been out there for years. Do you support it or not? I think, Senator, we'd love to talk to you a bit more about no, no. some of the uh, we've issues. Been Listen, this is, this is just what drives us crazy. We want to talk. We want to talk. We want to talk. This bill's been out there for years, and you still don't have a view on it. Do you support it or not? I think there are things that we would like to work with you on, Senator. Listen, this, this is just the old game. Uh, Mr. Beckerman, do you support the Child Online Privacy Protection Act being updated uh, the way my legislation does? Senator, one, uh, thank you for your leadership on this issue. It's been very important. Yes, we agree that COPPA needs to be updated, particularly as it relates to um, the way air, age verification happens across the internet. It's an area that I think um, has been um, not given as much attention as it deserves, that we, we do agree that COPPA do, does need to be updated. Do you support my legislation to update it? You've had plenty of time to look at it. I, uh, we, I, we like your approach. However, I think a piece that um, should be included is a better way to verify age across the internet, across apps, rather than the system that is in place now. And I think with that improvement, it, um, it would be something that we'd be happy to support. Okay. Uh, Ms. Miller. Senator, uh, we also support uh, the goals of updated comprehensive privacy legislation on your specific bill. I know we've had conversations with your staff uh, in, in a constructive manner, and I would welcome continuing to do that. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> but it's going to happen uh, soon because this is a crisis that, thank you, Senator Blumenthal, thank you. Congressman Blackburn, this is just surfaced in a way that's clear that we don't have any more time. We have to get this finished. Uh, your platforms are full of young teens. Among young teens, 49% say they're on TikTok, 52% say they're on Snapchat, 81% say they're on YouTube. Uh, and those users, those 13-year-olds, they deserve the right to say, no, you can't track me. You all, do you agree with that, Ms. No, you can't track me. You do agree with that? Yes, I agree with that. Do you Senator. agree with that, Mr. Beckerman? Yes, Senator. Do you agree with that, Ms. Miller? Yes, Senator. We have tools uh, okay. for all of our users to handle and control and make choices as it relates to the information that is gathered. Okay. The bill also would ban targeted ads to children, apps that uh, uh, should never be allowed to track a 10-year-old's browsing history and bombard him with ads based on that data. Uh, Ms. Ms. Miller, you said that YouTube Kids um, platform prohibits targeted ads to children. Um, do you agree that Congress must ban targeted ads to children? 
Uh, Senator, I, I defer to you uh, and uh, your peers in terms of what you would want to move forward. But again, we have not waited for laws like this. No, I'm saying uh, to you, would, would you, would you support to make sure there's a uniform banning of this practice? If you've already adopted it as a company, would you support that being the, um, the standard that we have for all uh, platforms across the country? As you describe it, it's consistent with the approach we've already taken. And you would support it? Is that what you're saying? Senator, again, we we are already doing this, and no, I'm asking you, would you support consistent? Would, no, we, we, we're trying to draft the law here. Would you support that provision being in a law that prohibited it, Senator? Yes, as as we already prohibit targeted advertising okay, so that's on all we're trying to do is just get get to yes, so that we can uh, legislate it, Miss, uh, so that we can legislate, Miss uh, Berkman, Miss Stout. Same question: Should kids ban targeted ads to kids? Senator, we offer those tools already where kids can opt out and not have targeted ads served to them. Would you support that as a national law that we ban it? Senator, an example of that has been the age appropriate design code, which we adhere to. And I can tell you, Senator, we are looking at exactly that model Would to apply elsewhere. Would you support it as a law that this body passes this year just to prohibit it? If you say it's wrong, should we prohibit it? We offer those and we agree with the approach. So, so yes, you do support it. Yes or no. I, I mean, I, we agree with your approach, so we are applying it to more. Right, I appreciate what you're doing. Right, we're, we're now trying to say if, if you support it, then we just support a law to prohibit anyone close. else from doing it. Yes? I think we're very close, Senator. Yes. Very close. Okay, Mr. Beckerman. Uh, yeah, yes, Senator, I would, and I would also say that we should go beyond that, and part of the approach that we've taken is certain categories of ads shouldn't be shown to teenagers um, and young adults at all, and I think that should be part of the approach as well. Okay, so we also need to go beyond privacy and tackle the design features that harm young people. Uh, take like buttons. Uh, uh, Senator Blumenthal and I have um, a bill, the Kids Act, which um, would ban these and other features that uh, quantify popularity. Uh, the research is clear. These features turn apps into virtual popularity contents, uh, uh, contests and are linked to feelings of rejection low self-worth and depression. Uh, even YouTube Kids has acknowledged this problem and does not have like buttons. To each witness, should Congress ban features that quantify popularity for kids, yes or no? Senator, as I mentioned in my opening statement, we don't have those metrics. We've never had a like button or comments because we don't right. think it should be a popularity contest, so, so we would, support that. So you would support that, okay, Ms. Beckham? Um, Senator, I think this one is one that we should, it's a little bit more complex than that. We'd be happy to have a conversation, but we have implemented um, much of the age-appropriate design code um, here in the United States and would encourage um, similar measures. So you, I, I, I don't know that there was an answer in there. Would, you said it's complicated. Do you support banning it or not? On banning likes? Likes, yes. I think, it's, I think again, if we wanted to set it by age, um, that's something that, that we could look at. Ms. Miller. Senator, as you noted, uh, we are already prohibit things on YouTube Kids, such as being able to comment. Uh, and we, we would support uh, working with you in uh, regulation in this area. OK, well, you, you would support working with us, but would you support banning? likes uh yes senator again we we already do not allow for this on the youtube can, youtube kids platform okay, good and and again the american academy of pediatrics just declared a national state of emergency for children and teen mental health we need to outlaw the online features that exacerbate this crisis uh, the um the, the question that you know we have to answer ultimately is, you know, whether or not, for example, we're going to ban autoplay for kids. With this feature, when one video ends, another quickly begins. Kids stay glued to their phones, so apps collect more data and make more money. Today, 82% of parents are worried about their kids' screen time. To each of you today, do you agree that Congress should ban autoplay for kids? Yes or no? Ms. Miller, we'll start with you this time. Yeah, Senator, uh, each of the items that you're outlining, we already prohibit. We do, we do, we have auto default, excuse me, the default set to auto play off on YouTube kids as well as for supervised experiences. Okay, so you would, you would uh, support that being legislated? Yes, sir. 
Okay, Mr. Beckerman. Um, for us, Senator, we have take a break videos and time management tools, um, but as it relates to autoplay on TikTok, you have to proactively switch to the next video. So would you support that legislation passing then, which would ban autoplay? We'd be happy to, to look at it and talk to you about it. You don't do it. Again, I, I think it's important as we look at age-appropriate features for, for teens, it's something that we build into TikTok proactively. But again, as we look at legislation, um, I do think a first step is something about around age verification across apps. Okay. Again, this is the historic problem. Yes, uh, Ms. Stout, would you support it? Senator Markey, I, I, I don't believe we have autoplay on Snapchat, so I would defer and say that that's something we need to look at more closely. Okay. And I'm not familiar with that piece of of the proposal in your legislation. Okay, great. Um, we have a lot of work to do, and we have to telescope the time frame, I think, Mr. Chairman, to uh, get these people finally Telescoping the time frame. Finally start good. acting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.